Yeah, well, I mean, that kind of goes with it. If it's a retard podcast, you already started before I was going. It's going now. Oh, it's going now? Retard podcast number one. Uh... Anyways, we were just talking about, what was it, the food that's up here? In the high desert, there's never anything open, like, ever. So, it's always unhealthy food. So, Jack in the Box, if you were high as fuck, would you not want to go over to Jack in the Box and get the macaroni nuggets? Would you not? I'd probably get that. That wouldn't be, like, my, I'd probably get that, but I wouldn't be, like, bro, like, that, it's gonna smack, like, I just, yeah. that. I'd get something else, but yeah, I, I mean, if I saw them, I'd probably get them, because I've had. Something similar to that that my dad made, and it was like these little like macaroni and cheese balls that were like rolled up and like fried, and they were well, they were like <laughs> they were like the size of like a baseball. <laughs> like they were. Oh, that's were, little. Well, yeah, because like I ate only ate like one of them when I ate, but it was still good. Well, the point being is that all the food up here is unhealthy. I mean, we have health food, of course, but I'm saying that at night. I'm, it's not yeah, healthy. I'm really trying to think about it. There's nowhere up here at all that I can think of that you can go to. Like, oh, this is like relatively healthy. Like, you can a get 24 hour subway. I don't even know if we have one up here. They I have one in Oxnard. Oh, I don't think they have any of them up here. I guess like the closest thing that you could get to that would be like, I don't fucking know. Going to like, I don't even know. Does Del Taco even have like salad? Yeah, no, actually, because I when I would work late at night uh-huh. at Knowles, I used to go down. Uh, to Del Taco, because it's like the only thing open at like 2 a.m. And I would get the, like, it was like a bean salad or some weird shit, and then it would be an avocado taco. That was, I mean, it was good, like, and it was, I used the Beyond Meat. Even though that's soy, and I'm a guy, don't eat soy, because soy gives you tits. Like, that's a fact, it does. Soy produces estrogen, so don't have that, otherwise you'll turn into a tranny. But the point <laughs> being is that I, uh, and yeah. Maybe you can hit him up then. No, because I'll be a tranny, and I don't want to be a tranny. <laughs> but I, uh, I would eat that, and it was really good. And I didn't feel like shit. I mean, it's the Beyond Meat. It's a fake meat. But it was, like, fairly healthy, and it wasn't super salty or nothing. It really was bland. Like, I, something from Del Taco bland, you couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was bland. I've had Beyond Meat one time when I was working at Pizza Hut, and it was from, like, a pizza. But it was, like, the fucking end of the night. By the way, fuck Pizza Hut. Um, but... It was, like, late at night, and it was, like, re-warmed up pizza that had been sitting <laughs> ready for a little bit. Well, like, I got it afterwards, like how I told you. Like, I had it right after work, and then I got home, and then I, like, rewarmed it up. But it's, like, not, like, weird to rewarm up, like, a pizza. It's just, like, if you got pizza, like, and you didn't refrigerate it, and you're like, oh, I want some pizza, and you warm some of it up. Like, there's nothing really bad with it. So I tried it, and it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like. I, oh my god i want this it was like okay just wasn't something that i would eat like i didn't really like it that much yeah i mean i had the impossible whopper from burger king one time and that was pretty good but i don't think it's something i would eat all the time I, I, like i get like well, i don't eat fast people, food all the time but what people, i'm saying like certain people that can't eat meat or whatever like if they want to eat that as like an alternative like i get it but like i would fags what Fags. <laughs> if you're super manly and you have a big man beard, you don't want to eat meat because it's gay. Because it's meat, so you have to eat nothing but soy. That proves that you're a man. But I don't. I don't know. I just like if people that can't eat meat, if they want to eat that, like I get why. But like I, I just rather fucking eat an actual hamburger than like this Beyond Burger that's like six dollars more. It has no fucking flavor. You eat it and you're just kind of like, okay. You don't know about the, but I know why they have like Impossible Burgers and soy meat. Why? You don't know about the problem. No, like it's not. It's actually not even funny. I shouldn't even be laughing. You don't know about the serious condition and issue that's going on in the world. The reason that they came out with the soy stuff is because, don't you ever notice, you don't see a lot of transgender people, and you don't see a lot of those commercials for African kids anymore. It's because, no, it, yeah, they use them in the meat. We grind up all the homeless people, transgender people, African uh, little kids in like the sub-Saharan Africa. (laughs) They use them for me. Yeah. We just take yeah. any, everything that people just don't want and just whatever. We just Yeah, that's just what we've been doing. Yeah, we've been doing that. We sent them to a plant. 
That's why people go vegan. I'm serious. You got to try it. That's why people go vegan all the time. Next, when's the last time you saw a transgender person? In the steak you had the other night. <laughs> oh, that steak, <laughs> the steak that I had the other night was, it was Jennifer, 24 from Florida. Jamie. <laughs> and I knew Jamie. We got to know each other real well. Oh, real well. The, I, knew, I know those big balls from anywhere. Oh, the big balls. <laughs> the big balls clapping in my Ford truck. Those big balls on my ass. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I would. I'd fuck a tranny. Like I said, I I would because look, everybody. The, well, not everybody. Like I said earlier, when we were pre-recording, the pre-record. Yeah, the, the pre-record, record, like yeah, pre-come. Yeah. I <laughs> I had, uh, I, I you know, it'll probably only have like two listeners that listen for ten minutes, and they're like, all right, it's cool. Is the, uh, the tranny thing is like, it's not, I'm not bi, I'm not gay, but a tranny? Is that not hot? Dude, it's because, okay, because the girl has, the guy has tits, yes, they have a dick and balls. Okay. But well, think they, about sometimes it. they have tiny dick and balls like me. Okay, well, th- then just think about it like this. If, say, me and Jalen, we weren't together and it was just like, me and you were just friends and one day I was like, you know what? I want fucking fat tits and an ass like and i went and got the <laughs> surgery done and but i had a fucking like cock and ball still like what would you be hey jasper like let me slip it in bro oh, i <laughs> mean it's it's not uh, but the point is it's not it's not gay right if i have to respect that you want to be a female then i'm gonna treat you like one so let's get to fucking what's gay about it if you want to be a female, it's interchange not gay. you fucking meat sleeves and, like, fuck meat each Meat sleeves? Yeah, you have like, a meat sleeve? No, you're gonna, like, fuck each other's, like, meat skin. Like, is like an outward puss. I'm not uncircumcised, so I don't have meat skin. Not, like, meat skin. Like an elephant trunk? Like, Wait. they, f- like, I attack, like, we yeah, dock. Like you, yeah, and you, then like, they dock pool. together, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they pool their foreskin yeah, over my... And, and, like, their foreskin rubs over your meat. And your meat rubs on the inside of, like, their They foreskin. jerk you off with their foreskin? Yeah. You, you've never heard of that? No, that's it's, that's that. pretty gay. That's pretty gay. <laughs> I'm not going to get my meat touched by another meat. Yeah, yeah little, little meat hugs? Yeah, little meat That's pretty hugs. gay. I'm not going to do that. I mean, but you said it's not gay to... Yeah, okay, let me clarify. It's not gay <laughs> to <laughs> stick a dick inside of a tranny's ass. That's not gay. Okay. But it's gay if you, who are a straight man like me, were, okay, here's an example. I get a tranny over here. Let's uh-huh. call her Jen. Jen comes over. She has a big honking cock. I pull it out. She wants me to jerk it. That's a little gay, but I could I can understand. <laughs> That's like playing with the clit. And then they want me to suck it? That's pretty fucking gay. I'm not going to suck your, your lady cock. You want to suck me off, suck me off, but I'm not going to suck your lady cock. That's pretty gay. It's go- it doesn't dude, it doesn't go one way. That's like if you get pegged in the ass and you have a girlfriend but your girlfriend likes to fist your shit, that's kind of gay. But if you're yeah. like I've had a finger stuck in my ass and I've had my ass eaten out. That's not gay. That's fine. You just bust a harder nut. They play with your prostate, touch it a little, you're fine. But as soon as, like, say the girl was like, hey, Matthew, I want to stick a big fake dick in you. That's gay. So there's a thin line. But but then there's also somebody that would look at it and there not be that, like, thin line or whatever to it. Then they're gay. Know that, like, they would the things that you're saying is gay, but the things okay, the things that you're saying that are gay, they would say isn't gay. It'd kind of be like in like them being inverted almost, like the things that oh, if the if they think that getting a dick in their asshole or a fake dick in your ass is not gay, <laughs> I got bad news for you, dude. You're pretty fucking gay. 
I'm sorry, but I that's mean, pretty you, gay. You shoved some pretty, some real, real, real questionable shit in your ass. I know it wasn't. I, I, yeah, I know, but no, I no, wanted I know to, that it wasn't for sexual pleasure. It was just, bro, I'll do it if you give me money. Like, I get it. No, I've stuck my finger in my ass. You just did it freely? No, like I was beating off and I put my finger in my butt. Then yeah, that's Like, gay. rub my gooch? Yeah, that's pretty fucking no, gay. No, but I'm rubbing the gooch is not gay. Oh, but putting up being... Okay, like But you I said, didn't stick my finger all the way in. I went, like, knuckle... Like, the first knuckle deep. But that's still... Putting something inside of your ass for, like, pleasure, and that's pretty fucking gay. No, that's playing with your prostate. You literally can bust a nut from a girl, or a guy, whatever you want, or yourself, playing with your prostate. I'm serious. Like, if you... Because your prostate's like... It's like... Yeah, your G-spot. It's like right there. Yeah. Play with it. Literally, I'm dude, it fe- I can already tell you what it feels like. And, I'm not and putting people... or letting anybody put anything up my fucking ass. Yeah, because you have shit in it. You need to clean out. I've had an anal enema, and I'll tell you what. It's not gay. I feel great. Now, I'm not going out and getting fucked in my ass. That's pretty gay. But, you know. I mean, why are you getting why are you getting all cleaned up if you're not expecting any visitors? I mean, it's the same as you cleaning your car. Why do you want to clean your car if no one's going to be cruising in it? It's just because you want it to look good. <laughs> no, wait, that's pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, see? see? No, wait, now no. You caught it's... yourself in your own little gay scheme. Bro, this is gay, <laughs> but this isn't. So you caught yourself up now. It's not gay. It's actually because I, the reason I got an anal animal was because I actually, believe it or not, I couldn't shit before. And it also feels good. Like, I don't feel toxic, dude. Like, there's a lot of toxins that go out of your body. Because poop holds toxins. And if you're not shitting all the time. People go to, like, they'll go to, like, a spa sort of thing and they'll get, like, an enema done. Yeah, the people get the coffee enemas and shit. Yeah, there's different ones. Like, you can get one, like, an energizing one. You can get one that's, like, a detox. Like, if you feel like shit or, like, anything like that or you've been sick recently. Like, it has. Yeah, like, yeah, people on drugs. I actually found out a lot of celebrities do that. Well, maybe not. Well, no, actually, probably a lot. Like, they would get, they would do, like, it's kind of older. Like, I think back in the 80s and 90s when it was more rampant. But they would do, like, a lot of club drugs. Mm-hmm. You know, do a lot of stuff at the club. Uh, so they would go out and do, like, blasts of coke and just all that kind of stuff. And then they would, get, like, the next day, if they're a party monster, you know. Like, Robert Downey Jr. in the 80s used to be a party monster. And yeah. he used to be addicted to drugs. And, like, same thing with, like, Charlie Sheen. Like, I can imagine... And I've read before that those people get, like, enemas because they do these coke binges and, you know, they're either shooting up, they're taking pills, doing yeah, all this like stuff, drink drinking. Yeah, like if and you then, drink for a long yeah. period or do anything for a long period of time, like, you'll feel like shit. Yeah, and then they go, like, the next day, if it's a, if your life's just a party, you know, yeah. then you go the next day and they get these enemas and it's, like, to clear you out, to remove the toxins, it's like a detox. Yeah. Like, that's why a lot of the famous people do the detoxes you know like a lot of them do it i guess for health because famous people always have like a fucking new health thing like every two days but yeah. like a new health diet but they always a lot of them you could tell like the people who do drugs are always doing like cleanses like if you ever listen to old podcasts or like old like interviews with charlie sheen when he was doing all that tiger's blood like all that shit yeah he'll say that he has like detoxes like he's detoxing this or you know this or that and they do the same thing at rehabs too for drug addicts well, yeah, because you clear everything out of your system, and it's kind of more of like, okay, you have like a fresh. Because, like, say if you went that's like to, charcoal, yeah, at like, a hospital. Say, like, yeah, say if you went to to a rehab, and you're like, okay, like I'm here to get clean, and you just fucking did whatever drug of choice you drank, whatever, a couple hours before, because you're about to go into there, they're gonna detox you, so you have nothing in your system. Anymore. Yeah, it actually sucks because I went, I worked over at that rehab in Lucerne, and we had a dude. Oh. Yeah, we had a dude. That came in HIPAA, so I can't talk about names. But there was a certain gentleman, and he had come in, or they had come in, and uh, I mean, it's not like it's going to get a lot of listeners, anyways. <laughs> but they had come in, and uh, they were on heroin. And I remember uh, they did a bunch of heroin and pills and everything. Yeah, because they usually and send themselves off before they go. Yeah, like, no, and then that's they do fine. As much as they can, uh, I would they go do in. the same thing yeah. exactly. But they go in and they're doing a ninety day stint at the rehab. So they go in, and I remember we had a room set up where that where you detox and it has like no windows. It's just a bed. It's li- it literally looks miserable. And uh, I had to go in there and check on the guy uh, or the person, take their blood pressure and vitals, all that stuff, make sure they're not dead. Yeah. And uh, 
they were fine, but I'll be honest, they were pretty miserable. But but they were not giving any food, I don't think, or anything like that. Um, but the person was detoxing, sleeping, just having cold sweats and like miserable, like moaning and stuff. Yeah. But uh, they did give healthy food, kind of. Um, and the coffee, I don't believe, had caffeine in it. It was just like a decaf. Yeah, it was like decaf coffee, and I mean because you can abuse that too. You yeah. know, like if you're really fiending, you can yeah, just like in jail, how they have stuff. small little things that like like how inmates will get like a a prescription for something, like say like a Norco or whatever. They have something, and then they kind of go like how they'll keep it and then go out and be like, "Hey, bro, like if you give me like money on my fucking commissary, whatever, like, I'll give this to you." And they kind of like sell and deal like that. Yeah, I don't know how that works, honestly, because I wanted to be a LVN at a prison. I feel but like I would... feel like when you're passing like meds, like how does that even work? They have, I feel like they have a protocol because I've even seen like in like different drug shows and like prison. Well, shows I'm saying that like watch, you could like tongue the them. pills though, and I know yeah. they probably check your mouth, but you know prisoners, they can hide it. Like they're not stupid. Yeah, they can I mean, hide they could fucking stuff. swallow it halfway. Yeah, get it caught like in their throat, and cough it back up. They could put it in the missing tooth socket. Like there's so much different shit you could do. I feel like there's only so much that they can do, and if they've done that, that's about all they could do. Just like if you go somewhere and you get prescribed. Uh, a prescription for uh, a controlled substance. They don't know if you're going to go abuse that or properly use it. It's just kind of like, well, I gave you everything best I could do. Like, you kind of do the rest. Most of the time, they have the prisoners take medication right there from the medication. Yeah, but they'll, like, check. Like, they'll be, okay, like, open your mouth. Like, to, oh, pick your tongue up, put it down. Like, okay, you're good, and let them go. Because they kind of bring in rows of people. Like, okay, this person needs this med at this time or for this yeah. or for that. And, like, they'll... Like you were doing when you were a med tech, like you're just passing out pills, like how at a set time, this person and that person would have to take whatever pill for this or for that. And it was like on a schedule, like they would never just randomly take pills. Like it was set it probably two times throughout the day, one in the morning, one at night or throughout the day if people needed them. Yeah. Or well, like yeah, but like or- even when I was a med tech and I would give meds to the dementia patients. Yeah. They sometimes it's called cheeking in medical terms and they they literally will like cheek the pills like they'll hold them and so like we have to check their mouth but it's kind of hard yeah that's like because like do in a prison it's the same sort well of yeah thing. but the thing is like there's a reason it's a medical term because it's cheeking so that means it's happened when you cheek a pill or you pocket a pill it's more it's commonly called pocketing but when you pocket a pill in your mouth like it's hard like because i can't see it yeah. And I remember I had to help this patient one time and I gave him a, a big pill and it was like a diazepam or something. So Valium. And I gave him the pill and he, uh, he, I guess he had a problem, dude. He had like some suicidal ideation. So he was pocketing them and I, mean, I didn't know. We didn't know, but he was hiding them like so well. So that's why, like, I wonder if prisoners... I know they do. There's no way they don't. But drugs in prison are a lot. Yeah, I know that it's a lot of money. Like, you have to put a lot out for stake. Like, you have to literally either sign your life away. Like, I'll do anything. Like, I'm here with you. Like, anything goes off, I'm there sort of thing. Like, yeah, but different... even like a stupid little joint. Like, I heard that it's like a small, literally like, like smaller than joint. a cigarette, dude. It's expensive just to get high on some bunk weed okay well then also not think about it good. like this how you said that that dude looked really miserable in that rehab say if he wasn't in that rehab and he was in jail if you were in jail you were sentenced to 20 plus years you only had i don't know 10 15 left to do whatever the case is you're gonna get pretty fucking bored doing the same shit every day well, nothing yeah. different you're on a schedule you do this you do that so might as well not like make it a little more fun fucking smoke do whatever you want to do in there like yeah but the the consequences outweigh the yeah, but think like about fun. think about what what other people do. Like somebody stealing a car. Like, dude, you can get pulled over down the fucking street. Like, what was the point of that? You can get pulled over, not at all. Like, there's so many different things that could happen. So there's a lot of different things that people do that they don't take like the risk over the reward and kind of balance them out. They just do it. Yeah, and like I said, if you're say if you were in there for not even just twenty years and like, because that's like a reasonable time for you to get out, still be okay and like live your life. 
Say if you're in there for most of your life, your sentence to life, what the fuck are you Well, if do? I'm in there for life, I'm definitely Yeah, exactly. Drugs. There's a lot of people that are in there for that, and they're, okay. I mean, I'm going to fucking No, if I if life. I ever go to prison for life, for literally whatever, uh, I don't think I would ever go to prison, but I'd probably go to prison for being, you know, a little gay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> a little rubbing my tip on some ass. Rubbing it. But I, I think that... um. I would definitely do drugs, like, a lot. Like, I would try so hard. But you have to have, like, that financial support, because they have commissaries and everything. I feel like... But it's like, how do you get money in your account? Like, is your girlfriend that's fucking, like, three dudes while you're in prison gonna be like, yeah, I'll give you money? Like, there's that, your girlfriend there's family, that does OnlyFans? But I'm not, not even just, like, I don't even think that they just trade in commissary. Like, it could be anything, like... Let well, no, your, I'm not just saying like, yeah, commissary. Like, I mean, they use, like, everything. Like, let me get your shoes. Let me get this. Like, there's other things. Like, you can... Yeah, you fucking They get money in a, there sometimes, too. I know that they get paid for the jobs they do. It's like 60 cents an yeah, hour. Yeah, but I think... I don't think they get physical cash. I think it goes to more of, like... Well, yeah, things you could buy. Yeah. Like or, it like, it's like a books. tab kind of thing. And yeah. it's, like, credit. Like, you can use it for this or... The, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you can get, like, soap. Yeah, just... But I'm sure they like use it need. to their advantage. I mean, dude, you think every single... Okay, so I remember one time I went into Pizza Hut or Little Caesars, and there was a dude in there that was a security guard for the prison. Mm-hmm. I could tell because he had the popcorn ears, like his <laughs> ears were all fucked up. But he was like, uh, he was probably like an MMA or something. Oh, like the cauliflower. Yeah, ears he had like cauliflower other. ears. I yeah. don't know why I said popcorn, <laughs> but he had cauliflower ears, and um, well, they look like a piece of popcorn. But he was in there, and he was a security guard or the, you know, the guards at the prison, and um. I didn't really get to talk to him much, but I asked him, I said, does like, do sneaky things go down? Cause he said he works over at the one in Atalanta and he said, yeah, like there is a couple people that you just see randomly get fired sometimes. And it's like, why'd they get fired? That's, they were such on a clear, good path. They've been here for 15 yeah, that's years. How, um, it was cause Morgan's, um, uh, one of Morgan's ex-boyfriends worked over at the, at the prison in yeah. Atalanta and he was there as like a guard. Like you'd like walk around, have to like clear the yard, make sure everybody got into their cells. Like all of like the shit that you see or like hear about, like he was actually doing it. He'd have to sit out there. Yeah. He was like standing like in the, um, in the cells, not like the direct cells with the people, but like around them, like when they free him, like for their little free time or whatever to eat and shit, like he had to patrol them all. And while he was working there, there was like people fucking stabbing other people and dying, like them attacking, like people that work there, people that work there getting fired for doing dirty shit. Like, yeah, well, I know I heard a story one time of a girl that I don't even know why you would do this first off, dude. But they had a girl guard at the prison. I, I don't think it was up here. It was somewhere. I have to look at the story again. But it was a girl uh, that was working at a prison. And, <laughs> I mean, she's around a bunch of dudes. So they fucked. And I guess she had a relationship with one of the prisoners, the inmates. Yeah, and, and she got in trouble. Yeah, she got yeah. pregnant. Yeah. It's just like, it's crazy because it's like, why would you even try? And, like, what if that person was in there, too, for, like, fucking slitting somebody's throat? You just gonna you gonna fuck him? Some people. Are there's like a girl. That. There's a yeah, like a child predator. Like that dude was. Well, he probably wouldn't I mean, want to be fucking the okay, guard. The other thing too is like, if you work there, don't you think you would kind of have an insight of what inmates you're working with? And yeah, you I mean, could, yeah, but you don't. You don't yeah, want to. I still get what you mean, but like she could have she could have done a little bit of her own research and seen why he was in there, what he did, like. But they go okay and kind of wait it out. Like that's not that bad, like because you really don't know. It could have been for something tiny to something fucking huge. Yeah, it could have been a burglary. It could have been literally anything. Could have been a fucking murder. Like uh, anything. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't uh, look. I'm not in prison, but if I was, and Didn't yes, you stick of your course, meat in a fucking dude's ass because you've already went been through this. I mean, yeah, but that's not the point. What I was gonna actually going to say is that if I was in prison, and yeah, of course, if there's a female guard, dude, do you not think, like, 90% of the guys in there are going to be like, oh, my God, like, beating off gets old after a while, making a fifi gets old after a while, having your your uh, bunk mate in your cell beat your cock is kind of old after a while. You know, you have those calloused hands and it's a rough, rough hand from a guy. He probably has staff because he did heroin or something. You most likely will try to get a a swing at that girl and it's probably not going to happen, but it's like, 
what worse could if happen? You, I mean, well, a lot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a yeah. lot can happen. Like the but teacher student I, thing. What's that? Like how like a teacher will be like working at like a school and like they'll have like a relationship with a kid that's like 14, 16, Oh, 17. so I actually got to tell you something. And I found this out. So a little while back. So a little while back, I had actually talked to somebody from high school that we know. I'm not going to mention her name on the podcast. But I actually, I'll tell you after. I had to burp. Um, <laughs> I was talking to her. I don't know how we got into this. Uh, trust me, I was not interested in this girl at all. She told me, no, I wasn't. Don't give me that look. She told me that she fucked the band teacher at Apple her sophomore year. I don't think it was that one black dude. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, I don't know. She fucked somebody, but she said, she said, oh, uh, so I don't even know how it got brought up, but I, dead ass, she told me she fucked the band teacher in high school, like her sophomore year. And I was like, that's so legal, dude. EDP crying right now. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, I think, like, no, it couldn't have been the white bald dude, because that dude was old. The band teacher that was old as fuck? He did band and choir. No, it wasn't that dude. I don't know who it was, but she said she hooked up with somebody in the band, but it was, like, one of the teachers. And if the police, let me just, hold on, let me just clarify that if the San Bernardino Police Department wants to ask me questions, you can kindly fuck off, because I don't know any information about it. All I know is this girl, or I'll give you her name, I mean, most definitely, I hate the bitch. Yeah, I hate the bitch, I mean, she's a fucking dumbass bitch, but if you want if you want her info, like I'll gladly give it to you, but you can kindly fuck off. Because I don't know anything else other than she said they fucked at school. So, I mean, it this wasn't guy even was. Outside? No, I don't know if it was outside, but they. she said that. The, I mean, it just seemed like it was played rough. Yeah, I'll tell you after the <laughs> podcast. I'll tell you. I mean, it's crazy, dude. It really is crazy. I can't believe it. That means she was under 18. Yeah, See, I would sophomore year. Like, yeah. there's no like you could have maybe maybe made it work if they she was like a senior. Over no, but 18, you're gonna but... get in trouble for yeah. that. Yeah, either way. Like, if you were a teacher like, and like, you I saw an 18 year old, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's know, legal. But it's, it's still but it's still illegal. Yeah, it's still illegal, but it's like legal for them to do that. But it's even it's like double illegal for what he did, and then her age on top of that. Well, she was a hoe. This girl I'm talking about is a hoe. I mean, she. It's not like she's. Look, I'll tell. Like I said, I'll tell you guys after the show. But she is definitely not. Uh, wow. Definitely not cute. The only reason people were fucking was because she was willing. She was a hoe. Like a genuine hoe. She thought she was a bad bitch, but she was not. And so that's. I mean, I kind of feel like that's why she just played her game. But I don't know, dude. Like, y y I think it's just <sighs> that that's sucks. Like, yeah, no, nah. that's too that's too far. Yeah, it's <laughs> honestly it's pretty bad. I really fucking wasn't expecting that. No, but I'll tell you after because you're gonna be really shocked. Well, you're not gonna be shocked. Like once you know, you're gonna be like, oh, well, that's well, kind yeah, of that kind of that kind of makes sense. Yeah, no, it's gonna make sense, but <laughs> um. I didn't know this, and, like, if I had known this before, I probably would have, in the past, like, my freshman and sophomore year. Yeah. I probably would have never been trying to talk to this girl. So I was actually talking to her in high school. Not, like, to date, but, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. horny, I'm a teenager, I'm beating my meat, Pornhub doesn't cut it anymore. <laughs> So I'm actually trying to talk with this girl, trying to get her to come over, you know, trying to smell her little lips. And I can't, uh, you know, for a long time. It sucks. But uh, junior year, I finally got to do it. So, it, yeah, I did hook up with this girl. I know I'm self-incriminating myself. I hooked up with this girl. So, yeah, but I didn't know this. And I'm if I had. I'm fucking sure I know who it yeah, is. Yeah, if you know who it is. But the thing is, I didn't know. So I, like I said, I only found out about this recently because they had told me. So it's like, 
It's just gross because you got, you like, I like, wouldn't. You I li- had, well, I licked her fucking same- monkey, <laughs> so I licked it. And so yes. the problem I have with that is I put my tongue on your little lips, like and I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know a teacher's meat was in it. Yeah, the band teacher. Yeah. You know his dick smells like uh, vinegar. Like Dijon mustard. And yeah, cheese. well, it does because, well, let's face it, he's in band. I mean, band already is, <laughs> I think band's pretty fucking gay, but that's just me. But yeah, it was really gross, dude. Like, I, I just, it shocked me. But you know what? Kudos, I guess, to her and them. I, I mean, it's fucked up, but... If that's what they wanted, that's what they wanted. So uh, that's not my problem. I don't got to deal with it. Unless, like I said, uh, just a warning to San Bernardino Police Department. If you do try to talk to me, I don't know any of the information. And this story is completely false. I plead the fifth. Yeah, I plead the fifth on the story. I don't know anything about the story. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything about the story. It was all made up. Yeah. No. But yeah. it's the, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, what were you saying? The teacher thing? What about it? The teacher-student thing? Oh, yeah. So, like, the teacher-student thing is more of, like, like, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. It's happened multiple times. It's not like it's anything new. That, like, a teacher, pretty much, like, what that was, like, a teacher will, like, link up with, like, a student and have, like, a not even just, like, hook up, like, fuck, like, do whatever. Like, they have, like, a full Oh, yeah, they're, like, sending nudes and everything? No, not even just that. Like, they plan on, like, moving in together. Like, it's, like, extreme. Like, if you were... Well, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, I know that as I do think it sucks because when I was in high school... No teachers ever wanted... Well, first off, they all looked like a horse. Uh, <laughs> secondly, I never had a teacher that wanted to fuck. Um, but that would have been cool. I mean, like, all these kids nowadays... Not kids. These, like, people in high school, they're getting fucked by teachers. I never got that. I would have definitely loved to have been molested by, like, a hot-ass girl teacher. Not a guy. I mean, not the band teacher. I mean, but... Dude, I mean, you can. I'm not gonna it, get in trouble. You could hit it almost two times if you get with the band teacher too, and you just kind of kill like two birds with one stone. Oh, the the band teacher, the guy. Yeah, yeah just get with. I him. ride him. <laughs> I ride. You I hold ride. on to him with my beard, and I ride him like yeah. a fucking yeah, hound. Like he's like your fucking stallion. Yeah, that's pretty gay. I would never do that. But the thing is, like, all these. I see it all the time in, like, news articles. All these kids get fondled by the fucking hot-ass girl teacher. I want to get fondled. I can, I don't even get fondled now. I go on Pornhub. I watch a video where a dude's beating his meat in his car, and a girl walks up randomly and just starts beating his shit. I don't get beaten off. Where is that? I leave my window open. I beat my meat. I have the curtains open. Oh, you got the curtains open. You're just going to be beating your meat. Someone's going to walk down the street. Oh, shit. Matthew's fucking beating his cock. I think I might go join in and help him. Yeah. Help me out. I'm lonely in here. A helping hand. I'm I'm making fifis. I don't have anybody to help me. Come up to the window. Knock on my window. Hit me up. Come in here. Yeah, go oh, fund me. Let's make a go fund me. No, 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 no. No, we'll just yeah. we'll just make a Let's sign. Make a Let's GoFundMe. make a sign and we'll fly the flag in front of your house that says like Matthew's helping hand and just Or a helping hand for Matthew. Yeah, no, well no, we'll there's make... no flag. You can't make a flag cuz there's like kids that live around my street. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be like, yeah, over here, well, he's know, getting beat for, off. For it's like a fundraiser. like an explicit adult um, audience only, we'll make like a little cutout in your wall that's like a little box. And they go up, they drop, look. You, that's you a can glory make, hole. No, 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 yeah, but it's not It's not just a hole, it's a box. Like it's a cutout hole, and it's like a like a vending machine almost. Like you put change into it. Oh, I it. vending machine my cock? You click A3 after you put $2 in and my tip comes out? Yeah, and they fucking get to, dude, that's a win-win. You get money and your fucking cock beat, so are you? Why are you going to complain? You get, literally, you get money and your fucking beat meat. Your, your beat meat? Yeah, yeah I get, get my beat meat all the time. Your fucking meat beating, so like. Yeah, dude, you can give him a little soft peppermint. It's like a little, oh, like, thanks, bro. Like, Take a fucking blue chew or Viagra. I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I honestly thought about it. I'm going to go like down. half of Viagra, take one, and just go out in public. Well, no, that's what I was going to say. I'm not going to take <laughs> Viagra. I'm going to take something more sketch. I'm going to go down to 7-Eleven, and I'm going to buy, like, one of those blue rhino pills that's, Please. like, male enhancement for six hours straight. Please. And I'm I'm just going to go into, like, work. I'm just going to walk into work and take it. I mean, it's like a male enhancement pill, and it looks... I mean, it's sold at 7-Eleven already, so it's not, you know it's not good. And secondly, <laughs> they sell out. I talked to somebody over at the Chevron, 
uh, somewhere around here. I can't remember which one. I wonder if there's anybody that's like no. Well, that's the thing I was gonna to say. Him. Well, I don't think you can get addicted to him. Uh, addicted, but <laughs> you can definitely want them. I mean, like if you take them so much, I don't know if it's gonna make your dick not work. But yeah. I, I, I talked to that uh, girl at the counter, and I said, "Does anybody like actually buy these blue rhino pills or like?" Not Blue Rhino, but you know what? That's like a fucking propane company, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like the, 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 like the Rhino and Hanford yeah, yeah, yeah. pills. It's like male and... Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, like all that shit. Rhino, like Black something. Mamba. <laughs> yeah. Big cock. Like, it's that kind of stuff. I, well, it doesn't say Big Cock, but I saw that, and I asked her, I was like, do people really take this? And she said, oh yeah, we have like dedicated customers that come in specifically for these pills. And I've seen them around. Like, homeless people are buying this shit. I don't know if you get a high off of it or what, but. I mean, dude, like, just like fucking. You up. Just like you'd probably do. How don't. Yeah, yeah you well, could, I don't think you would. So you. You could so mix if you wanted to go do. You, you want to go do a line of Coke and somebody at the party's like, yeah, I got Coke. And you snort it. And then everybody there just has a hard cock because you crushed up some, like, Viagra I'm not type saying- pill. Yeah, how don't you yeah, know that's somebody? For how don't you I'm know? saying you go to a house party? No, like would you okay. go in there? Everybody you, has a hard dick. You're just like, yeah, this looks like a good vibe. I mean, but and if you would like, just go to that, like you were saying, like how homeless people get them. Like, how don't you know that? Like right now, it, it, what it's fucking one o six in the morning. So you mean to tell me that right now there probably isn't a homeless couple off two of those pills behind fucking the like dumpster of like Stater Brothers or fucking Big Lots just fucking he took it when. Oh yeah, a little when more classy a little, behind Target. Uh, a little more classy behind yeah. Target. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, but would you? They're okay, probably behind okay, Downs. Incredible fuck, pizza. Would you rather? Would you rather? That place shut down, would, so they're probably behind there now. <laughs> well, okay. Well, would you rather fuck behind a Walmart or behind a Target? Tell me. We've been behind both of them. Not like in like that way. We oh like, yeah. yeah. So Jasper and I actually. This one time it actually. Yeah, it's I, actually. I slipped. Yeah, it's we well, slipped in my ass. It's actually a gay uh, conspiracy, and it's true. I mean, you guys caught us right here, right now. It was it actually happened. Yeah, no, that, that but, one time your dad caught us. He put the petroleum jelly at the yeah, door. Yeah, we used to we used to have the petroleum jelly and all yeah, that. Yeah, we have but petroleum the, jelly parties. Wow, that's new. <laughs> a petroleum jelly party. Yeah. You know what? Okay, I'll be honest. One time I jerked <laughs> off with baby oil, <laughs> and I, let me just tell you. Jerking off with baby oil is not the move, dude. <laughs> it gets everywhere. My ball sack was so oily for the day. Um, <laughs> did it not? Did you have so much oil like the the folds went away? You just kind of rubbed. Like there was no chafing, no it was the, just like rubbing. Well, yeah, there was no there was no chafing. But like the problem was, I beat off with baby oil first, and then I had put. Uh, obviously, I I climaxed. I finished, <laughs> and I I took a shower. And uh, this was recently because we had baby oil in the hall closet. So I took a shower. This was like a couple weeks ago. I took a shower and I washed myself with soap and everything, dude. And I, I st- like I scrubbed my sack. I still had a baby oil sack. <laughs> like it would not go away for at least a day and a half. So I just had these oily ass balls and oily gooch. Well, it yeah, made, it's like, it's like problem, minerals, isn't it? Yeah, it's like mineral oil. But yeah. the problem is it made its way down to my ass. Like my asshole was oily. My my balls were oily. My goose was, <laughs> was oily. It, was it oily like a fucking McDonald's like cheeseburger wrapper? No, it was like it was like honestly, what it was like is like hair conditioner. Like you know how you get that oily film on yeah, your fingers like, when you use it. or yeah, something? Yeah, because it has like oils. To yeah, it's like good for your hair. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. But it was all over my balls, <laughs> and I couldn't do nothing. Did about you have it. like soft? Oh, well, you like shave all the time. Like, did you get any prickle when it came in? Was it really soft? No, it was only for a day. Well, you said it was like two days that you're fucking like. Well, no, but my I'm saying that cock from the was day, all fucking. Yeah, but I'm saying from the day that I beat off with the baby oil <laughs> to like the next day, it's like 24 hours. Like I beat off at 12 in the afternoon, let's say, and then 12 at midnight, it just magically went away. <laughs> or it finally like sucked into my bloodstream. It was oily like all day, but the problem is like my asshole, my gooch, it was just creamy. Like it was like somebody melted like like a, like like a candle Gerdelli, wax like, no, like a Gerdelli chocolate in yeah between. like the caramel like the car I mean I'm not saying I have a shitty ass but I'm saying that like the caramel <laughs> from the chocolate or something yeah it was like that it was like a gooey like if you had, if you left like a 
Yeah, like yeah, it was left, like a like dove, a, like those dove chocolates. Yeah, like you left it out in the car for a little bit though, and like how it like really sticks to the package, and it's just like gooey. Have you ever smelled chocolate when it gets on your fingers? Yeah, it smells like a piece of shit. Yeah, it smells like poop. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Like, if you really, really smell, like, if you just kind of get, like, a quick smell, it's like, oh, that's chocolate, but you really smell, you're like... Well, I remember one time... I don't know. I I remember one time, I got Carla... That used to be my girlfriend. Uh, I got Carla... I'm single now, by the way, so hit me up. I got Carla some chocolates one time for Valentine's Day, and she ate them. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, she's not going to wash her hands, you know. I mean, what what are you going to wash your hands after eating chocolate for? That's stupid. It's not like she's making a mess. Yeah. But the one thing let do know, it's Valentine's Day, right? Fuck off. <laughs> and I, she put her fingers up to my face. And for a second there, I thought she had them in her ass. <laughs> I mean, chocolate does smell like poop. I didn't care. I like that. It's a cool smell. I mean, that's ass. It's kind of it's, it, it's like yeah, it's like a simi it's like a ass smell. Ass simulation. Yeah, it's like an ass simulation smell. <laughs> so, I mean, it perfectly What are you going to are you going to like fuck a fifi with like a blindfold on and like smell chocolate like you're fucking like an asshole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, or I you would. Could, you could put it like in the freezer in like small little like shit molds, like and just smear shit it throughout molds? it. Yeah, like make shit <laughs> and make molds out of it. No, I shit. Oh, you, you know what happened? Put little, put little melted chocolate chips in it. So as you slide in, and it's a little, put it in the microwave, but let it cool down so it's just a little warm, so it simulates the feel. But then when you go in and come out, you got chocolate. So fuck it's chocolate. Like, yeah, but so it'll my be- dick tip smells like I get little pieces of chocolate in my hole. Yeah, I just piss chocolate out for the rest of the day. It burns. <laughs> yeah. Feels like a kidney stone. Yeah, that shit fucking sucked when I had that one. Well, you know what? I forgot to tell you. I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but um, there is a story I heard from a certain celebrity's daughter, and they told me uh, that. There was this girl in high school that fucked herself, recorded the video of it. Now, I don't know if this is true, but it sounds like it. I'll tell you the girl who did this after. Yeah. Um, She fucking shit into a condom and fucked herself with it. She froze it and fucked herself with it. Now, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I don't know if that's (laughs) true, but let me just say something. That's kind of hot. I'd like for you to hit me up. We could do that sometime. <laughs> what are you no, gonna, I, I are you gonna like just that. eat like like real big like hefty meals and then no, eat, like a the bunch thing, of brands. No, no, no. So you have like a long shit like John. You gotta like shove it in the fucking toilet with a stick. We gotta get John on here. Yeah, all the geek stories. Yeah, John, our friend John. All of yeah, all of the Johns. John. We got multiple Johns. We got Geek John. Yeah, we got we have, construction we, John. We have two we Johns Dad that we John. know. But John. The one we're talking about, he probably won't come on. I doubt it. He'll probably be here for like 10 seconds. Yeah, he would probably say he'll come on, yeah. but he's not going to come on. John is uh, he's a unique character, but whatever. Yeah, we'll get him on, on someday. Someday, maybe maybe we could, we could force it maybe, on him. We can fucking... We can... We'll sexually force him to fucking get on the podcast. I feel like... Uh, yeah, we could get... Yeah, we could start... Here, we could just fondle uh john until he gets on the podcast like john if you want me to stop you know rubbing your ass and your tip you're gonna have to come on the podcast no i actually don't he he moved down the hill i guess remember he didn't like he still like lives up here i don't know now yeah. i haven't talked to him in a while but last i knew he still just yeah. i feel like his parents would just not know like his dad's never really there his like mom and like his brother and like like relatives and like people he's related to and shit are there and like they're um they're fucking like uh, you know girlfriends and shit but john's dad is actually an lapd officer oh, yeah, so for that. the one person that's listening to this right now i only have one thing to say dude we have to defund john's dad and therefore making john poor so get him out of his got house the, but his dad got the m6 in a fat ass house in like a gated community we gotta defund him get john Defunded, yeah. Defund John. Defund him, so he can well, stop they defunded buying John's the food place. Because yeah, that they bitch ain't none no that. more. <laughs> yeah, that shit closed down. I gotta pee really bad. Hold on. You can you can do whatever you want. I gotta pee real bad. I, like my pee hole is literally on fire. So it's on fire. It's burning. 
ring of fire. Yeah, look, look. Let me just... No, no, no. Let me... Let me just tell you real quick that I don't have an STD for all the super hot girls. The super that hot have. one female. Yeah, listening. the super hot girls that want to, you know, get with me. But I don't have an STD, but my pee hole does burn sometimes because I hold my piss in like a little kid. That's so just an FYI, weird. I know it's bad, but I don't have an STD, so all the hot girls... No, I don't have a UTI, but all the hot girls that want to hook up with me, trust me, you could still slob my shit. I don't have an STD. I'll be right back. I mean... Right. Anyways. He's fucking back. Yeah, I'm back. I pissed. <laughs> and uh, it burns so bad. The burn. If you don't burn when you piss, what are you doing? No, I. it doesn't, it doesn't actually burn. But... Uh, I don't have an STD, like I was saying, so please don't think that. And also, uh, you know, like I said, hey, I'm single, so any of the one girl that's listening to this that's like a four, I'm open, dude. I'm here. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Well, I'd say that's it, folks. I'd say we're near the end. Yeah, if you um, if anybody else ever if, has any ideas, yeah, any ideas, hear, go ahead and hit us up on Instagram. Yeah, hit us up. Yeah, on Instagram hit if up. You hear any I stories. have stories, and you know, I have more stories. I promise you, you might not like this one, but I guarantee you, the second podcast will most definitely be booming. I'll definitely have a story time for you guys. Yeah, and we'll um, we'll try to work on getting like guests and other microphones and stuff hooked up. So. We'll have like multiple people's stories and different things that they could talk about and we can talk to them about. But you could uh you could catch me on Instagram, Jasper.exe, if you want to ask anything. Uh yeah. So or, um, don't follow me on Instagram, please. I don't like a lot of people on my Instagram. I know it sounds funny. Uh but fuck off. And secondly, uh, I lose followers like every day. Uh, I'm just not popular <laughs> like that. I, I look I at my care. followers. Well, the thing is, I look at my fucking followers and it says I have like 444 huh. and now I have 421. Every time I look at my followers, li- literally check this out. Every time I look at my followers, I see that I lose one every day mm-hmm. and I don't really care. Like I'm not sad about it. I'm not miserable, yeah. but don't follow me. Just don't. I don't like people following me. Uh, I don't really care if you don't follow me. But definitely check out my story. Uh, <laughs> if you check out my story, you'll definitely be able to see a lot of stuff. And uh, some other things. About that, the podcast. Yeah, and other things that, um, I think we should put on there is all the stories that we do tell. How yeah, we we'll definitely tell stories. Them. How Yeah, how we have some footage with them. Yeah, we do have... Also, if I do tell a certain story, obviously medical stories are not going to have a video. You can't break HIPAA rules, man. Medical field things. But we can definitely do a lot of the stories that we have. I mean, there's a lot of uh, unique things that we've done that we do have a lot of videos for. So definitely, yeah. we might make a second Instagram account. I might make one. And just post uh, the podcast videos on there. Might be a podcast account, so go ahead and check that out. But definitely give us a view on the story on the Instagram and Snapchat, so we can go ahead and keep you update. Keep the three people who listen to this updated about what's going on. Yeah, and uh, we can go ahead and get some ideas if you guys have anything you want to hear. Like we said, but yeah, any stories. Uh, you know, I have so many stories, and if you want to hear us talk about anything, I mean, we'll talk about anything. You know, I'm not scared. Um, I mean, if you want to hear... We've had, we have anything from a mild story to some real bad shit. Yeah, we got some pretty shit. bad things that we've uh, we've had happen. So, maybe next time you'll get to hear the story about uh, <laughs> when I ate a little bit of shit from a girl's ass. <laughs> that really did happen, by the way. So, yeah, just stay tuned. That's about it. So, all right. Size.